And it was a mistake to edit this one this time. So and now, like, 1119. Yeah. She knew her friend's passcode? Yeah, I didn't. Because it used to be 2385, but when she changed it to 6, I didn't think you know. Maybe she knew it over the weekend because I'd never seen a success passcode on her, on her phone. Is that normal to you that Nicole might share her passcode with somebody? I wouldn't think so. Has, do you know her to have done that before? No, because only she's only told me her passcode before. Like her, I mean, her phone's her lifeline. So, okay. Are she close with Nicole? I mean, she's, I mean, decently close. How long have they known each other? Probably, probably at least over a year. How did they meet? Uh, when her mom, when Shanann's mom lived here, they, uh, her Shanann's mom worked at a, she was a hairdresser, and Nikki was like one of the managers. Oh, Nicole, sorry. One of the okay. And then did Shanann get her hair done there or something by Nikki? No. Okay. I was just Shanann's mom and Nicole were friends, and then Shanann got Nicole into the thrives, and oh, okay. went from there. Right. It is just call me. And when they go in there, I want them to run a black light over everything I want them to have to collect DNA. I want them to look for hair strands and DNA samples, and I want them to look at your stuff and your wife's stuff and your children's stuff. Um, so then I want them to do that sooner than later. I might step out here in a minute and just tell them the code and just let them know, guys, let's find how we can get these girls, okay? Um, Can we keep talking about some complicated things? Sure. Some things that are going to make you uncomfortable? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, and I think you know why I have to ask them. Okay. And it's a hard job. It's a hard job. It is a hard job. And I'm going to ask you one thing, and you're going to give me an answer, and I'm going to ask it just a slight bit, bit different, and you're going to give me an answer, and then about ten iterations of this, you might get annoyed, but I do that to make sure that we understand each other. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, we have your daughter's who's missing, we have your wife's who's missing, okay? And that's the most important thing right now, okay? Um, do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. So, you've done very good in talking to me about this really hard conversation you guys had, okay? Very good. That's sometimes hard. And I understand why sometimes someone in your position says, uh, doesn't want to tell me about that. Because please go help me find my kids and you don't need to know about my, my marriage argument, okay? So I gotta say, you've done very good at that. Um, and I need you to keep doing that. So I need to ask you about um, your marriage and uh, infidelity. Okay. Okay, tell me about it. Now, I have never cheated on my wife. Okay. And I fully suspect she has never done that to me. Oh, okay. Like. She's always been a trustworthy person. I've always been a trustworthy person. I fully expect if we ever thought about straying another way, mm -hmm. that we would tell each other. And I understand why sometimes someone in your position says, uh, doesn't want to tell me about that. Because please go help me find my kids and you don't need to know about my, my marriage argument, okay? So I gotta say, you've done very good at that. Um, and I need you to keep doing that. Um, your marriage and uh, infidelity. Okay. Okay. Tell me about it. Now, I have never cheated on my wife. Okay. And I fully suspect she has never done that to me. Oh, okay. Like, she's always been a trustworthy person. I've always been a trustworthy person. I fully expect if we ever thought about straying another way, mm -hmm. that we would tell each other before it happened. I think that sounds ridiculous. Okay. Because in the history of the earth, nobody ever does that. Okay. I, I just, I just, that's what I would like to think. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, I know mistakes happen. Like, sure. You know. Yeah. But that's what I would, in my head, that's what I would okay. think would happen. I would hope would happen. Okay. But now, even though I think that sounds ridiculous, I know. if I was in your shoes, I'd say the exact same thing, and and I believe that. you that these two beautiful girls right here, I did nothing to them and to my beautiful wife, I did nothing to her. 
like you have to trust me and believe me. Like I know you don't know me as a person. You, you know me for like two and a half, three hours, mm-hmm. and I don't know what your opinion is, but you have to realize that these two beautiful girls right here and my wife, I had nothing to do with the disappearance. Like they vanished, they were taken. Someone take has taken them. They're safe somewhere. We don't know. I had nothing to do with these this, with this act of like evil cruelty, whatever has happened here. Because my love for these two girls and my wife, like, I don't want anything to happen to them. I've never wanted anything to happen to them. No matter if me and my wife separate or not, or divorce or anything, I never wish harm on anybody, on a human being in general. Okay. Like, just seeing that picture, like, I need them, I, I want them just to run through that front door and just grab me, mm-hmm. or just bear, or just tackle me, knock me to the floor, bust my head off, I don't care. The mouth. That's still in the house, you said? Yeah. Okay. So, is the lights going to go on? Yeah. She's got no cash. Let me know. No lights, no phone. Um, anything about the clothes in the closet, the handbook, the doors that makes you think?